everyone, and welcome to California Life, where we bring you the best of California every week on our show. I'm your host, Heather Dawson, and we're going to start off with a special spotlight on one of my favorite cities to pronounce, Rancho Cucamonga. Nestled in the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains, Rancho Cucamonga is comprised of three areas, Altaloma, Etiwanda, and Cucamonga. The city boasts the oldest winery in California, the oldest living artist with his work in the Smithsonian, plus one of the oldest and largest earthquake faults, which ultimately led to the popular professional baseball team's name, the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. Okay. So where did the name Cucamonga come from? Well, the name dates back to 1200 AD, when the Cucamonga Native Americans established a village near Red Hill. By 1833, a Mexican soldier, Tubercio Tapia, was granted the land of Cucamonga and began a successful winery, portions of which stand today as the Thomas Winery, the oldest known winery in California. The area was later sold to John Raines, then changed hands again in 1870, when San Francisco businessmen formed the Cucamonga Company. President Abraham Lincoln sanctioned a Cucamonga post office in 1864, the first in the western portion of San Bernardino County. In 1913, when the Pacific Electric Railway came through, the upper foothills of the city known as Altaloma combined with Cucamonga. The city's eastern community of Etiwanda was planned by William Chafee, the Chafees helped bring power to the area, and in 1881, the first long-distance call in Southern California was completed between San Bernardino and Etiwanda. Today, Rancho Cucamonga is one of the fastest-growing areas in the Southland, yet remains one of the safest cities in the country. I still do it, that get on down. The city incorporated in 1977, stretches over 39 square miles, population 147,000 people, average income $80,000. Rancho Cucamonga has recently transformed from a bedroom community to a destination spot, thanks to a new state-of-the-art cultural center, Victoria Garden Shopping Center, and a plan to revitalize the local winery. No wonder more than 100,000 people are happy to fulfill Jack Benny's famous line, making the last stop, Rancho Cucamonga. Thank you. 
Winter in Canada is something to celebrate, and the magical allure of Banff and Lake Louise is yours to discover. The essence of mountain culture comes to life during snow days, the vibrant winter festival in the heart of the Canadian Rockies, which happens every January. Enjoy an outdoor gallery of awesome size as talented sculptors contour enormous blocks of snow into works of art along Bear Street in the heart of Banff. Try out your snowboarding skills on the ramp or take a turn at Fat Tire Mountain Biking on the track at the Snow Days Play Zone. And witness the thrill of ski joring, where teams of athletes and horses from Ski Jor Canada put on a breathtaking exhibition of horse riding, trick riding, and ski stunts. Then go on a memorable, one-of-a-kind snowshoe adventure, one of the quickest and most fun ways to travel on foot in Banff. And warm up with hot chocolate and a delicious maple taffy made fresh in the snow by the Discover Banff tour guides. We're about to use the crazy carpet. You go <laughs> oh. Tribute Craft Spirit Celebration brings together the best craft distilleries from Alberta and British Columbia while showcasing the vibrant local food scene in Banff and Lake Louise. Hit the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise and skate across the frozen lake as you stare up at snowy peaks and glaciers surrounded by the incredible mountains. Banff Snow Days happens throughout Banff National Park every January. It's the highlight of the season, where you'll fall in love with the snowiest days of the year. Bringing you the best of travel for California life, I'm Marco Gutierrez. And now let's head to Ventura County, where Tiffany Carter introduces us to a local business that has been named one of the 25 most innovative brands by Forbes. At a time when being proactive about our health is not only smart, but wildly popular, it can be a little overwhelming to navigate through the sea of healthy food and drink choices currently on the market. Yet, Kavita Sparkling Probiotic Drinks has quickly carved its own niche in less than five years. And while we can't reveal all of the recipe's ingredients, Bill allowed us inside the kitchen where the distinct flavors of Kavita's drinks are born. He even let me sample a brand new drink they're working on. A lot of brands right now are coming out with you know, green drinks and uh, it's on trend because people like to cleanse and drink the green. So let's see what you think. Okay. All right, bottoms up. It actually is really good. I'm telling you, I taste more apple in this than anything else. Good, good, that's good. Then. And you know, and I know that this is good for me. Mm -hmm. When I saw the working label for it, the apple, kale, spinach, I got really excited because for someone like me, I don't like a lot of vegetables. So to just be able to drink it in the bottle. And you know, unfortunately, a lot of these drinks that are doing the green drinks, you taste more of the vegetable than anything else. This tastes very sweet, is very light. And all that green goodness, along with the rest of the flavors, are less than 40 calories. They're made from a combination of various formulas that include coconut water, stevia, and whole vegetable powders. And here at Kavita's headquarters in Oxnard, a team of 30 are dedicated to providing health-conscious consumers a dairy and gluten-free beverage that contains four active strains of probiotics aimed at boosting immune and digestive health. After we uh, finish uh, the fermentation process, we do a little filtration, and then we move it into a big batch tank. And the big batch tank is where we'll add all the other flavorings, the purees, the coconut water, etc. cetera. And um, that's where the alchemy of the drink occurs. And then um, from there, we, 
we ship it to our co-packers where they actually will put it in the bottle and uh, send it off to the warehouses for nationwide distribution. Kavita's fast growth led them to move into this larger Oxnard facility. But even before the boom in sales, Bill remembers what it felt like to see the drink he believed so much in enjoyed by a stranger. It was actually in New York City. And, you know, and there's all these people, it's, you know, tens of thousands of people in the given subway system in a given day. And I saw, I saw a lady, she was probably about 30 years old, and she was drinking a, a mango coconut. And, you know, I just, I had a, I had a, I had, it, was an, it was an inflection point when I realized what we have is destined to succeed. While millions of Americans are maintaining their personal health by drinking this probiotic thirst quencher, its added benefits hit very close to home for co-founder Bill Moses. My mother died of colon cancer. I was um, vulnerable to, uh, to the same kind of colon cancer that, that my mother got through some early testing. So when this particular drink happened to come my way and I was able to you know, work with my partner to make it so that we can actually get it out to the consumers, um, it meant a lot to me. It meant, it meant more than just a low caloric uh, alternative to the soda. It, it, it meant for me personally that some people out there that are prone to um, some of the digestive health issues a colitis, Crohn's disease, colon cancer might actually benefit from this and it might actually might actually save a life or two. From Oxnard, bringing you the best in California, I'm Tiffany Carter for California Life. And still to come, so are you looking to get rid of that tattoo from your younger days? Well, a new laser technology can help and it's pain free. Plus, do you want to look 10 years younger, but you don't want any needles or incisions? You don't want to miss our medical report. Well, they say you can almost guess someone's age by their tattoo and whether they have a tattoo. And many people find that as they get older, they don't want their tattoos anymore. Well, here's a new solution that's actually pain-free. Decisions that we make in our youth aren't always decisions that we're happy with in our 40s when we started that family. But thankfully, tattoo removal has just gotten easier. The Medley Tattoo Removal System is a wonderful device because it allows us to remove an unwanted tattoo in a very effective way with minimal discomfort. But what strikes me is that tattoos are now mainstream. They're not just for people who are you know, down and out or a little bit risky behavior. And therefore, the number of people who are going to become 30 and then 40 who might want to remove their tattoos, I think, is very large. Uh, I had my tattoo 20, over 20 years ago, and um, I feel like it's, my lifestyle has changed uh, so much that now I'm a family man, a father. I don't think it reflects good on my uh, son anymore, so that's why I thinking about having it removed. We have the person come in and we mark the area of the tattoo and then we cleanse it very thoroughly. And then we, um, we do inject anesthesia at my office. Not every office does that. We do it with dilute anesthesia because often tattoos are very large so it has to wait for about 10 or 15 minutes. With this anesthesia that we've developed, the patients feel absolutely zero pain and they don't have any pain in the, in the two hours after the procedure. And then we're going to coat it and kind of, we're going to wrap it lightly because over the next week to 10 days, it's, it is going to ooze and crust. Um, and so we advise our clients to like gently pat it, um, clean it once a day. The reason a tattoo is, is permanent is because the tattoo ink, the particles are just a little bit bigger than what our cells can like eat up. So think of like little Pac-Man cells in your body, they're called macrophages, and there's a particle or there's some waste, and the body comes along and, and it eats those up and then it makes it into pieces and then it is reabsorbed. Tattoo ink is slightly bigger than what that cell can handle, and so the cell really cannot remove it. The laser breaks up the tattoo particles into smaller pieces so that the cells can then absorb them and eliminate those as waste. I'm looking forward to being able to go to the pool and take my top off and 
not being so self-conscious uh, with my son and other people around me. Bringing you the best in California life, I'm Andrea Metcalf. It wasn't an accident. There was a bomb on that plane. Those are the words that turned Blake Lively Stephanie from a drug-using prostitute devastated by the loss of her family into a woman with a mission, a mission of revenge. You gotta get your rhythm section under control, like in music, remember? Think of your heart as the drums, yeah, totally. your breathing as the bass. You get those sorted and you're sorted. With the help of a former MI6 agent, played by Jude Law, Stephanie learns some spycraft and embarks on globe-trotting pursuits to bring the bombers to justice. The rhythm section is based on the book by the same name, written by Mark Brunel. It's directed by Emmy Award winner Reed Morano and produced by Barbara Broccoli of the James Bond franchise. The story is often plotting and Lively's British accent is hit and miss. But what I liked about it is that instead of the polished fight scenes we see in so many action films, this project actually demonstrates how dealing with one's own humanity can make it difficult to carry out the job and how survival is often a matter of luck rather than skill. Good. It's the easy part. What's the hard part? Living with it. Hey, I'm Evelyn Thurston. I'm 15 and I will be singing Almost There from Princess and the Frog. Mama, I don't have time for dancing. That's just gonna have to wait a while. Ain't got time for messing around. And it's not my style Well, this old town can slow you down People taking the easy way But I know exactly where I'm going I'm getting closer and closer every day And I'm almost there I'm almost there People down here think I'm crazy But I don't care Trials and tribulations, I've had my share Well, there ain't nothing gonna stop me now Cause I'm almost there I remember daddy told me Fairy tales can come true But you gotta make them happen It all depends on you so I work real hard each and every day And now things for sure are going my way Just doing what I do Look out boys cause I'm coming through And I'm almost there I'm almost there People gonna come here from everywhere Cause I'm almost there I'm almost there There's been trials and tribulations, you know I've had my share But I've climbed the mountain, I've crossed the river and I'm almost there I'm almost there, see I'm almost And that'll do it for this week's episode of California Life. If you missed any part of our show, go to our website, CaliforniaLifeHD.com. I'm your host, Heather Dawson. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We'll see you next time. Watch us on our YouTube channel. Stay connected to our social media, like our blogs on Facebook, where we bring you the best of California.